Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Call Hello Yam La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. All right, which is Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name in the Lashwan Kandaj, the ancient Hebrew, right? Where the world originally calls God and Jehovah Bahasham. All right, in the name of Yahweh Shai, okay, who is uh, who the world originally calls Jesus, man. All right, uh, salutation to you, sincere Akim out there, spreading this truth throughout the four corners of the globe in righteousness and sincerity. All right, starting with the elders and apostles on down. Most how willing this video be edifying, and through the spirit, you know, I kind of want to pull out the spirit. I've been meditating, you know, stay, stay uh, sober. We're still in a strange country, man. So stay sober. We're still in a strange country, and I'm bringing this, you know, through the spirit, meditating on scriptures because, you know, looking at the things that have passed, man. We're actually in World War Three, rather they want to announce it or not, man. We are in World War Three, man. You know, because you know World War Three, you only need about three different nations to actually be at war to actually have a world war, man. You know, you already got you know Trump done bomb, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, bomb Syria. Then he already, then he, then he, he dropped. Uh, well, it was a sixty Tomahawk missiles over there in Syria, and then he dropped the the, the Moab missile on uh, in Afghanistan. You know, Moab, the, the mother of all bombs, you know, and then you got all these other, you know, the tension all around the world from these other countries to basically retaliate if if, 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 if Trump keep turning up. Now you had, you know, I posted on uh, on the main, on this, on this channel and as well as Instagram, you know, the lyrics of uh, Yah, uh, Kendrick Lamar's song Yah off the, his album Damn. You know what I'm saying? And the lyrics that he where he said that I'm an Israelite, don't call me black no more. Black is just a color, which it is. It's just a color, man. I mean, negative and void, man. I put that negative vibration on our people, man. So you got to stop calling yourself black, man. And all these other bywords and proverbs, man. Asiatic black man from A to Z and all this other madness. You got to stop doing that, man. Come back to your true nationality. But you got to come back sincere, man. Scripture talk about it. I'd rather you be... Uh, uh, Rather hot, hot or cold, not lukewarm, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta really. If you come into this thing, man, you better prepare yourself for temptation, like the scriptures have said, man. Prepare yourself for temptation, and make not tell you to turn to the Lord, man. You know, but um, <clears throat> yeah, man. Him saying that, and not only saying that, but to reference Deuteronomy, right? Do the reference Deuteronomy and say that we're under the curses. That's a big thing because. That's the power and spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Understand that we are, we're in World War III, and for, for that to happen, people are getting marked in a mass number. So you can, no one can ever say that they didn't know this truth. This guy is a so-called, you know, well, maybe one of the uh, uh, best rapper alive. People, you know, uh, deba uh, debatable, you know what I'm saying? But as far as, as, far as personally, I, 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 I say, yeah, because that's respectable thing to say. Regardless, I don't know, you know, I'm not, I don't care about these famous people at all, man. I worry about the elect, because that's what, we, what we're doing this thing for, man, the elect, you know. We're doing this to wake up the elect, to get the hell out of the strange country, and get the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, we're striving for that glory, we're striving for the truth, and we're going to strive into the truth until death. The elect is going to do that, man. So that's why I kind of wanted to bring out this topic, man, Be uh, stay sober, all right? We're still in a strange, um, still in a strange country. And the scripture I want to, two scriptures I want to bring out real fast is Ecclesiasticus uh, or the book of Sirach, chapter 13, verse 23. It says, when the rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue and look what saith, <clears throat> select what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they shall, they say, what fellow is this? Who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? They say, who is this guy, man? You know, and if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. And that's what's been happening to the men, the, the starting with the elders and apostles on down and the other Akim out there spreading this truth, man. You get mocked and scoffed and scorned at, but you, who's going to scorn? Who's going to mock, you know, Kendrick Lamar for this? He's a rich man that's speaking and they're going to hold that word up to the clouds. You know what I'm saying? But that's through the power of spirit. Yahweh Shemir and Shai. There's always a balance in this thing, right? So... My thing is this, I'm going to bring another precept out and I'm bring my point. This is Ecclesiasticus of the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 19. Many are in, uh, many are in high place, in of renown, renown, okay? 
or now mean what? Famous. A lot of people know them, right? So understand that Kanye Lamar is in a high place. Many people know them. And it says, <clears throat> many are in, a, in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. So you know what I'm saying? So you actually got to humble down and do the spirit. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to speak for him, but you know, as other other artists, you got to be humble to actually say that. You got to be some, you got to kind of bring your, bring your, 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 your fleshly uh, uh, pride to a certain level to actually say that, you know, but we'll see, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is what the most, most high is dealing with the meat, man. The scripture talk about you, man, uh, the most high would do nothing but what, you know, roughly paraphrasing, but he revealed his secret unto the servants, the prophets, right? So understanding that he's dealing with the poor, man, uh, contrite, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a contrite spirit, man. So he's dealing with uh, people that, that are actually going through, through, through shit here. You know what I'm saying? Actually uh, uh, catching hell out here, man. And that's what we're doing. Because that's why I said, man, stay sober. People are going to actually take the words of this man because he's renowned, he's famous, and he's, he's, he's you know what I'm saying, he's, he's a high place. And they're going to actually, because uh, you got a lot of people saying, oh, I want to wait for an interview and stuff like that, because they're going to use that and they're going to actually make a doctrine from the words of Kendrick Lamar's next, uh, if he says anything else about that, they're going to make a doctrine out of it, man. And I've seen it. And I've been watching, meditating on the people's reaction. And someone commented on Instagram, and it was a, a sister in the truth trying to tell another sister. She said, she added the, 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 the girl, you know, uh, J. Eve. That she, she added her and said, look, didn't you say that you're... you're, you're uh, You'll seek into the to the truth if Kendrick Lamar said it. Look, that's a, basically that's the spirit. He said it. So then she said, yeah, yeah, I know. I heard it. But he wasn't speaking about hate. So now people are messed up still about this hate thing, man. But the scripture talk about, you know, the Heavenly Father talk about hate. Not only talk about hate, he talk about he created what? Evil and darkness, man. Matter of fact, let's, let's, get, let's get Romans. Because people are messed up with the, with the scriptures, man. But that's why people exaltive with... Uh, uh, what the rich say, because he didn't say anything about the hate. He didn't say anything about the scriptures. So now people are going to pick and choose of what they want to believe still, man. And that's why the most high have it this way, because he's marking everyone with that. You cannot say you ain't know this truth, man. But the scripture says what? Romans 9 and 13, as it is written, Jacob, because we're to see the Jacob, man. He said he's an Israelite. Jacob's name was later turned, changed to Israel. Yashar Allah, man. Meaning he, prince of power. He's a prince of power, man. All right? When he fought, when he fought off the, uh, the, when he was wrestling with the angel, man. His, his name later was turned to Israel. So we are the seed of Jacob, man. You so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? And your confusion of faces, right? If um, the line of Israel it comes on your father's side. Because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. So you can look like... You can look like all these other nations and still be an Israelite if through the spirit, if, if you can receive it and through the spirit, you know, uh, 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 if you receive this truth through the spirit, man, and, and able to, 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 to not only hear, but to do, man, because only Israelites can get this truth, man. Only Israelites can understand this truth, man. And the chosen, the elect, man, the ones who are supposed to get it, because the scripture even said many are called, but few are chosen, right? So you got to understand that. But on a part of that is understanding the hate, all right? Because our enemies hate us. When we were brought here on cargo slave ships, because that's one of the curses when, you, you know, in Deuteronomy 28, chapter uh, 2868, that we're going to brought, be brought here on, to, um, on cargo slave ships, man, and be served for bond men and bond women, you know, brought to Egypt again. Egypt meaning bondage, all right? Because from Israel to Egypt, they're nothing but a wall. So you got to understand this, that we're going to be brought to Egypt again. What? Bondage again. That first bondage was actually Egypt. And those Egyptians wasn't calling Egypt Egypt in that time, man. Okay? So you got to understand that. We're only brought again in bondage again, man. It says what? Uh, Romans back in Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there, un is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Most High forbid, man. God forbid. There's no unrighteousness with the Most High, man. The Most High is a is an equal balance. He even created the evil for the day of vengeance. All right, 
He created the evil for the day of vengeance. All right? And it says, verse 15, For he saved to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So what you really need to understand is, is, is this true, to understand who you are, man. Everybody has a biblical nationality. And if you don't know your biblical nationality, your biblical nationality, you don't know what you, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you don't know what the hell is gonna really happen to you, man. Because it's, it even says two thirds of the most highest people are gonna have to be put and done away. Two thirds of the most highest people gotta be done away with, man. Okay? So that's a scary thing. Most high's not playing with you. So though that that kind of spirit saying, Oh well, he didn't say this, look, man. We don't, it's not, it's, it, you don't want to fall into the hands of man, what man said. You want to fall into the hands of the Lord first, okay? Because fall into the hands of the Lord, not a fact. We're going to get that. <clears throat> this is, uh, I'm going to start uh, uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus 2. I'm going to start at um, the 16th chapter. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. And the scripture talk about in Hebrews 11th chapter, man, without faith is, in, is impossible to please him, man. So you got to have faith when in scripture talk about separation, dividing, help, dealing, uh, uh, separation, divided, and hate. That is talking about that, that even when it said that, you know, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man, that we are a holy people unto the most high power, man, separate. We're a separate nation. You got to have faith in the scriptures, man, all right? And it says, which is well-pleasing unto him, man, to actually know this truth, to push this truth, to teach it, man. If you're a visualite man, go out there on highways and byways to re-upload videos and push it more out into the YouTube, man. You got to actually do that, man. It says, which is well-pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. Because what is love? What's the Heavenly Father's love, man? What's the Heavenly Father's love, man? of fact, Let's get it for edification. This, this is mostly for people that's going to be coming into this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get the uh, first John 5 and 3. It says, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Okay. I'm going to go up to, uh, I'm going to go to verse 2. So that's the love of the most high. You keep his commandments. His commandments are not grievous. It's not hard to do, man. That's how you know. It says, and they will love him shall be filled with the law. Because the law is love, man. Keeping the law of your commandments. And then verse 2 over here in 1 John 5 and 2 says what? By this we know that we love the children of God. All right? The children of the most high. When we love the most high and keep his commandments. Because we're going to be telling the children of the most high to be keeping those commandments. Now, the first uh, scriptures I've brought out, man, they don't want to hear a poor man say it. They want to hear it come out of a rich man's uh, uh, mouth to validate it. <clears throat> and that's the wrong spirit to be in. So now, those people that are actually coming into this thing, don't come into this thing because Kendrick Lamar said it. Come into this thing because you believe it. You know what I'm saying? The scripture talk about be persuaded in your own mind. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, you gonna want you're not you're not gonna make it, man. You come in in the wrong spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I wanna bring out um matter of fact, bring out second edges. Cause this this is basically what I'm basically the point I'm trying to make, man. This is second edges chapter three. Oh, matter of fact, Salat. Let me go back into Ecclesiasticus first. This is Ecclesiasticus uh two and seventeen. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts, okay? Hearts, in the Hebrew word, you know, lab, all right? Meaning, in the Hebrew word, lab, man, meaning your mind, that your, your inner you, the inner spirit, that, that voice that talks to you, man. You got to prepare that, man. It says, they that fear Yahweh will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Because the most high is uh, long-suffering, you know, full of compassion. You know what I'm saying? Full of mercy, merciful, right? And, pit and very pitiful. So you need to fall into the hands of the Lord, not man. Because the scripture, at the end of the day, you still won't fall into the hands of the Lord. And the scripture talk about it's terrible. It's terrible to fall into the hands of the Lord. Um, 
roughly paraphr- uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know? It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man, you know? But if you willingly submit and fall into the hands of the Lord, man, he is, he is merciful, man, okay? <clears throat> now, this is the point because, you know, when he said, you know, don't, I'm an Israelite, don't call me black no more, right? And you like, actually had these real names, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the scripture talk about the elect shall pray, praise his holy name. Yahweh and the, the heavenly father and Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, his son. This is Second Nedrus 3 and 36. Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts. And what is a precept, man? A precept is a commandment, man. It goes back to the law. Israel by name has kept the precepts. So Israel by name really loves the most high. The love of the most high is, you know, they keep my commandments. My commands aren't grievous. We know that we love the children of the most high when we love the most high and keep his commandments, the precepts, not, all right? Not precepts of men. People are waiting for Kendrick Lamar to do an interview to see the precept of man. Most high willing, he don't come out with no crazy shit and say no crazy shit. But if he does, that's still the, the will of the heavenly father because guess what? Two thirds of get got, uh, Get, uh, is going to get consumed by this fire out here, you know? Going to get consumed with the famine, the pestilence, you know what I'm saying? The sword, you know? And uh, and, and over all the nukes, man, that are coming to this place. Donald Trump is shooting missiles everywhere. You think they're not going to get, they're not ready to shoot them back? He fought in these missiles. He, he's shooting little tomahawks and, 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 and now nu giant non-nuclear bombs. They're going to shoot nukes here. Big one, the nukes to blow shit up. Can uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ken Jong Un. He already said he got missiles that are hit Toronto and in, in, in Chicago. That's also I saw a meme with Jake talking about some. He was doing the dance saying, "This is me at the uh at the border of Canada." Guess what? Canada gonna get fucking blown up too. What is wrong with y'all? Canada was with uh Syria getting bombed. Canada still got our brothers and in, in, in reservations over there. You know, catching hell. The so-called Native Americans, they got to get it too. When we said America got to get destroyed, we're talking about the whole North America, man. We're not just talking about uh, USA. Like, they're going to work. Like, those bombs going to say, oh, shit, that's the border and come back into America. Like, 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 like one of them bombs can't hit a nuclear plant and then do a chain reaction and blow up all, all that shit up, man. I don't worry about no border lines. No, they're going to get blown up too, man. That's going to get blown up too, man. Straight like that. <clears throat> that's just that's just it. That's, that's just be real, man. Like a bomb, a nuclear bomb, I'm gonna be like, oh snap, that's Niagara Falls. Let me move over a little bit over, you know what I'm saying? No, it's, the shit gonna get blown up, man. And him saying that proves it. He said, I got shit that'll hit Toronto and, and Chicago, you know? So um <clears throat> wanted to bring out a point, uh matter of fact, bring out that point right there. So what Israel by name. It says, thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Because calling yourself black still, you know, not, not considering yourself to be Israelite, calling yourself black, calling yourself, you know, Asiatic black man from E to Z, calling yourself what, uh, uh, all this other shit, man. I, I just try to delete that out of my mind because that shit is crazy, man. The stuff people call themselves, man. Like that, that's where I line. Earthlings. I heard people call themselves earthlings, you know what I'm saying? It's like some wild shit, but that's some heathen shit, man, you know? You calling yourself Israel, the most high people, because the most high is dealing with his people. And the scripture even talking about, you're going to Ezekiel uh, 36, 22. He's not going to sit here and do this because of, uh, you know, Israel's sake. He's going to do it for his holy name's sake, because Israel, you know what I'm saying, profaned his name to the heathens. To the real, to, to the heathens by, by by flesh, you know. Now, now this, you know, heathens. You got two different types of heathens. You got heathens that are Israelite that are, that pertain to these other heathenistic doctrines. You know, they got this uh, Hellenistic uh, vibration on them. Then you got these other, you got the other heathens that are actually heathens by blood. Man, they're not the seed. They they not the seed of Isaac, Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. You know, we come from the seed of Isaac, Isaac, Ab uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, some of those people they don't they don't they, they're not from uh, uh, Isaac and Jacob. You know what I'm saying? And then 
even then, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand that our people don't want to be Israelites, man. They want to be everything but Israel. So guess what? It says, thou shalt find Israel by name, have kept the precepts, but not the heathen. So guess what? The Most High is not coming back for heathens. He's not saving heathens. If you're a heathen, you're not getting saved. He's coming to save his people who have who, who has his name. That's why you see Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahshar Allah. He's not coming to get Asiatic black man from A to Z. Black man, black African-American, African-American, African, Pan-African, -American, African -American, Pan -African, all this other shit, Egyptian, Kemen. He's not, he's not coming for all that shit, man. If that was the case, he would have started taking those people from out of e Egypt <laughs> along with Israelites. But guess what? The, the Israelites needed to uh, save him out of there. But I'm going to go back because I'm, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to bring out uh, First Peter's. Because the whole thing is, man, be sober, man. Don't just, you know what I'm saying? Like, stay stay focused, man. This is the end of this thing. The scripture talk about that, man. The same shall be saved. Those those uh, who shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. <clears throat> I'll get that real fast. This is... Uh, Matthews 24, matter of fact, I'm going to start at 6, verse 6. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. <clears throat> See that ye be not troubled, all right? So we're not troubled. we actually rejoicing because we know after that is what? The scripture is going to go into that. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, yes. We at the end, but the end, end is not yet. It says what? For nation shall rise against nation, which you see now in the news, and kingdom against kingdom, which you see now in the news. And it says what? And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, man. That's what you see. You see famines. You see pestilences all in South America and in Africa and Africa, all these other countries, man. Famines. You know what I'm saying? And even these the other countries that got nuclear powers, man, they got famines in their, in their land because they're not worrying about the, the majority of the people. They're worrying about that military strength so they can fuck America up, man. Part of my French for people who can't, you know what I'm saying, got soft, soft minds. But that's exactly what's going to happen, man. They're letting their people starve and, 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 and turn to cannibalism because they're worrying about that military strength that might, you know. It says for <clears throat> all these things, verse 8, all these things are the beginning of sorrows. So those are the beginning of sorrows. But jump down to um, <clears throat> 12. It says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Because you're going to have people that's, that's, that seem to love each other or have some kind of some type of love, but it's not going to be that real sincere love, man. If you're not coming through the power spray, your how about you shy? That's just going to wax cold, man. It's going to wax cold. Verse 13, But he that shall... But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right? So you got to endure to the end, man, to be saved, man. Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. All right? The good news. This is the good news, man, that we're going to be saved up out of here. And it's going to be, it says what? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, man. Do not the nations understand and know now that the so-called Negro man, Latino man, and Native American man are, are Israelites? Because those Ishmaelites know that we're Israelites, man. They know. <clears throat> it's a lie.